Now in part B, we're given this new series, starting with K, adding 2K, 3K and so on, until we get up to 100. And we're told K is a factor of 100. And it comes in two parts. It's worth four marks in all. We're asked to find in terms of K an expression for the number of terms in this particular series. And then in part two, we've got to show that the sum of that series comes to 50 plus 5,000 all over K. So, how are we going to do this one? Well, this is the part that I just mentioned in, in, the, in the first part, that it's important to know this particular formula and so that, so that we can work out how many terms there are in a particular series. Because to do this, if we just say let n be the number of terms, okay, let n be the number of terms, just put that up there, put n o there, number of terms, then what we know is that the nth term in this series, the 100, will be equal to a plus n minus 1d. So we can say that 100 must equal the first term, which is k, plus n minus 1 multiplied by the common difference. And can you see we're adding k each time, so that common difference is going to be k. So we just need to multiply this out, and we therefore have the 100 equals k plus nk minus k. So those two k's cancel, so you're left with nk equals 100. So therefore, to get what n is, the number of terms, it's going to be 100 divided by k. Alright? Now for part two then, if we've got to show that the sum of the series is 50 plus 5,000 over k, then knowing how many terms there are, I can just simply substitute that into either this formula or this one. Well again, I'm going to go for this one here because it's a lot easier to work with in this example. So let's just say for our intro we've take this particular series. Let's just say that k plus 2k plus 3k plus and so on all the way up to the 100. Well, what's that going to equal? Well, it's going to equal n over 2, or a half of n. It'd be best to think of it as half n here, because then we've got 1 half multiplied by n, 100 over k. OK, so you could have written 100 over 2k. And then it's multiplied by the first term, and the first term is k. So we've got k for that one. All right. And then we've got to add the last term. Let's just put that in brackets there. Plus the last term. The last term is 100. So we can do a bit of cancelling here. We could say cancel that 2 into the 100. goes 50 times. And then expand this out and we've got 50 over k times k, well that's just going to be 50k over k, or just simply 50, and then plus we've got 50 times the 100, so that's going to be 5000, and it's all over k, and that's what we had to show. Alright?